What's going on YouTube fam? Today I want to give you guys a quick look at the Trophy Room Jordan 7s. These are the new sheriff in town and I'll go into all of that later on in the video. Um, but first I want to say thanks for dropping by if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for kicking it with me. Uh, but listen, while I have you here, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way, when I upload new material, post new content, you'll get a notification. Then you can head to the channel and you can see the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. If you are on social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, or X, uh, you enjoy photos of sneakers, outfit ideas with sneakers, really anything related to kicks, um, give me a follow. You can find me. I am at I am TMC I I. And while you're watching the video or after you watched it and you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. That really goes a long way. It's an indicator. Let me know that you enjoy my content and it just makes me want to keep recording videos when I have new pickups. All right. So now that the intro is kind of out of the way for all my first time viewers, uh, let's dive right into these. So like I mentioned, this is another collaboration with Trophy Room. Uh, Trophy Room is a store owned and ran by uh, Michael Jordan's son. And this is a collaboration that the store did on the Jordan 7. So back in 92, that's when they had the Dream Team, probably the best or one of the best Olympic basketball teams ever assembled, got together. And that's kind of where this colorway theme is is kind of inspired from like the Olympic sevens. So the new sheriff in town, that whole name comes from um, probably from what MJ has said is one of the greatest games ever played that never was televised. So if you think about it, you have like all the best basketball players from all different teams across the league on one team. And there was a, a closed indoor scrimmage between uh, MJ and Magic Johnson, like they divided the teams up. They had MJ's team, they had uh, Magic Johnson's team. And basically the game just ended up being a really, really good game. There was a lot of trash talking going back and forth between MJ and Magic. And um, basically at the end of the game, Jordan's team ended up winning. And, you know, they had a team meeting, the, you know, around that time after the game and then Jordan walked in and basically it was like there's a new sheriff in town and the whole room kind of joked and laughed about it so it's kind of the whole inspiration behind the whole new sheriff in town theme um so just a little background on that and i'll show you guys there's a little card and everything that came with it that you can read and pause the video but what i'm gonna do for this video, I'll go over the materials used on here, then I'll touch on quality control, and at the end of the video, I want to lace these up, toss them on feet, go over sizing and comfort and all that good stuff. So just hang around and I got you guys covered for everything in the video. So majority of the shoe is made up of, a, it's like a suede, like a, like a rough suede feeling, the entire shoe. Um, no leather anywhere on here, really. Um, one thing with this red suede, it's like a thick carpet feeling almost. Uh, I do believe that this is going to attract like a lot of length over time, but it's, it's still dope all in all. It's just like a, a FYI. So you can see you have like hints of red and this is more like a like a cream sail um, off white color um, uh, suede on this part. Coming in here, you got MJ's signature on the shoe. You have a gold jump man. You have the, the gold uh, eye stays for your laces. You got different set of lace options. They came factory laced with the navy, but I put the white in one of the shoes. So you guys can see that. And you also get red and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Looking at the back, you have the trophy room uh, logo and symbol on the back behind the tongue. You have new sheriff in town written behind the tongue, as I mentioned on this shoe. Coming to the back, you have the number nine. That's the, the jersey number MJ wore in the Olympics. You have New Sheriff in town um, behind this tongue as well. But in the right shoe, you have the greatest game ever played um, in this one. And then on this insole, you have Welcome to the Family with the Trophy Room logo. And also coming to the inside, you have the date that they played that game that I mentioned also. As you guys can see that. So you got that June 22nd of 1992. 
Um, so I got some nice cool features and all that stuff on the shoe. Just wanted to make sure you guys get a good look at the materials used on here as well. Like I said, it's pretty much the entire shoe is made out of that, that kind of suede, like a, it's like a real hairy, rough feeling kind of suede, rough and kind of smooth at the same time, if that makes sense. Typical, iconic um, Jordan 7 outsole. I uh, really like the design and the look of the 7 outsoles. One of my favorite outsoles of Summer Jordan line. Uh, that's pretty much it for as like your materials go. So show you guys the tongue. Um, like I showed you one of the pair of laces, you got the, the Air Jordan written on the tongue. Um, I don't know, it's just a, like I said, you got that nylon, uh, nylon feel for the actual tongue, like a neoprene nylon feel that the tongue is made out of, but everything else is pretty much made out of like that furry felt kind of suede feeling type material on the shoe. Uh, quality control wise, the QC, some little, like not necessary defects, but paint issues. Um, I don't know, the, the QC is okay. Uh, little glue marks, one of the shoes, uh, I think the, the way the creasing is gonna be on here is gonna be weird without this being made out of leather and it's being made out of a different material. You can see like his high is already kind of wrinkled up on this toe as well, even over right here in this little area for how they had to glue the, the toe box to the mid. So it just seemed like it's already kind of pre-creased and wrinkled all up in this area. And it's gonna look weird after a while with some wear. Um, I don't know, overall, the, the QC is okay. I mean, the stuff that I am pointing out, you won't really be able to see that on feet from you know standing up next to a person, but like just looking at the shoes myself up close, um, you know, just like the QC is okay. It's, it's not like the best. You can see like there's a lot of little glue marks right here behind the, um, the little logo on the back. I don't have any chips or anything on the back of mine. I'm not sure how much this is gonna hold up over time far as flaking and chipping off, but as of now, it seems okay. So overall, the QC is, is decent. It's not the best, um, but I think for what they were trying to do and accomplish, I think it's, it's okay overall. So that's that. Um, let me show you guys the box now. So you do get a, a special box. You got trophy room on the side, jump man on top. You got the trophy room logo right here. I'll show you guys the label really quick. So here is your label and your product code on here. You got your color breakdown, product code. Scan this with your camera and a link will pop up. It'll take you to the regular Nike website. It doesn't do anything special, anything like that at all. Uh, you got Jordan signature on the back of the box and that's pretty much it for as that goes. And the inside of the box, open this up. So you got the new sheriff in town. You got the date like on the shoe. You got the place for where the game was held. And then inside you have like a whole little basketball court in the inside. So I thought this was pretty cool also. So that's the box and the inside of the box. This is another set of the, this is a set of the laces that you get outside of the white and the navy. So you do get red. And this is just the white and navy laces left over. Um, come with like a little playbook. Um, you know, like the coach's playbook, little clipboard to draw up plays. This is the team. So you had the blue team and white team. MJ was the white team. The jersey numbers for everybody who was on the team. Blue was Magic's team. So Magic wore 15, Jordan wore nine. So you get that. And you also get like a story, like I mentioned, of everything that happened during that game. So I won't read this, uh, but you guys can pause the video and you can kind of read this if you want to. You can zoom in and read the story on here. So you just got kind of a breakdown of a summary of what I said about the story. And then you got the tissue, can't really see it that well, but you got like the little um, basketball with the 23 with the, with the sheriff badge in it, the same little uh, basketball with the sheriff badge in it, that's written all over the tissue. Not sure if you guys can see it, but that's what you have on the tissue as well. So that's all the goodies. Here are the kicks, show you guys the kicks one more time. Before I take them off here and lace them up, drop me a comment. I usually reply to you guys when y'all leave comments. If I don't, I'm gonna hit the thumbs up or the heart button uh, by your comment. But I'm gonna take them off here, lace them up, toss them on feet. Now, y'all hang tight. All right, guys, here's a quick 
all feet look at the trophy room Jordan 7s. Just want to show y'all what they look like really quick on feet. Uh, first things first, we could kind of just jump into sizing. Usually the most requested and asked question from you guys. Uh, so to me, I'm a medium, somewhat narrow foot, and I prefer like a snug and exact fit on my kicks. And for most sevens, I usually go down a half size. And when I go down a half size, they give me that fit kind of like a sock, like a glove. It kind of fit me exactly how I want. I don't have much room in the shoes. I don't really like having space and room in my shoes. I like it to fit me kind of snug, not tight to where my toes are like all the way to the end and I'm in pain after a few hours. Just a snug and exact fit. If you like that fit, like me and you have medium narrow width feet, I think you could go down a half size and you'll be cool. If you don't like that fit, go go true to size and you should be good to go. If you have wide feet and you like a snug fit in your sevens, go true to size and I think you'll be able to get that. But if you want a little bit of room and you have wide feet in your sevens, you might want to consider going up a half size. It's really all about how you like your shoes to fit on your feet. Um, but like I said, that's what I would recommend uh, depending on your foot size and how you like your shoes on your feet. Uh, as far as comfort goes, the sevens to me is a, it's a really comfortable shoe. Uh, I'm not sure why a lot of people don't like sevens. I feel like sevens don't get the love that they deserve. Um, I think it's a really iconic silhouette and I really like them and it really lights shoe. Um, the materials that the sevens are made out of, that the, the, the bed that your foot rests on, that midsole, it's nice and squishy. Um, definitely um, not the most comfortable retros that MJ you know played in, but it's definitely one of the, it's, it's more comfortable than like your Jordan 1, should I say. Those feel more flat to the ground. You feel a lot to the ground when you walk. These feel a little bit more bulky, um, but they're not as, as flat to the ground. They have a little bit more squish to them than some of your older Jordan silhouettes. So all in all, I think you can casually rock these all day, not being any kind of pain or discomfort at all. Um, that's just my thoughts on it. So here you go. I'm going to wrap this up. Like I mentioned earlier, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, hit that notification button. But I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all on the next one. Peace.